If you watch a tank full of fish, it's really amazing. They never bump into each other, however crowded the tank gets. It's a peculiar ability fish have. You can crowd them together and they'll swim around, but they won't go knocking into each other, unless, of course, they're trying to catch each other or something. And also, if you watch a school of fish, you'll notice that if one is startled and reacts fast, the rest do the same sort of thing. And the whole school, even if it's thousands in number, can react as one and move through the oceans. It's a quality fish have, and it relies on a sense that we don't have the ability to pick up vibrations in water, even if they're very minute. And the secret lies, if you look at a fish, in this peculiar structure here. It runs down the side of the fish. Here it runs, it looks like a bit of stitching, running all the way down the side of the fish there, from front to back. Because it's on the side, and because it's a line, it's known as the lateral line. And it's a particular sense organ that fish have. Not always as easy to see as that. This fish has got one, but it's pretty disguised. It runs down there. Well, what's the secret? The thing is, the water vibrations have to get through the horny covering of the fish into the sense organs in the skin. And that's a bit of a problem, because the horny covering is a lot of scales here, which are rather like roofing tiles. They overlie one another, and it's pretty hard, you can imagine, for water to transmit vibration all the way through that. But it breaks down at the lateral line, and to see how, we need to haul a couple of scales off. One from here, which is nowhere near the lateral line, and I'll tweak it out and put it on my finger, and the next scale I'll take is from the lateral line, and I'll put it right beside the first. And there they are. Well, you might be able to see a difference, but it's not very apparent there. Even with a magnifying glass, it's pretty hard to see what's going on. The best view we're going to get is a microscopic view for which you need a microscope. You don't have one? Well, here's the next best thing. It's to use a projector, and we do it like this. First of all, we'll put the scales down there. Get yourself a bit of plastic from a shirt box, here we are, like that, and a 35 mil slide, and put the slide on top and cut around it. Get two cuttings, and you'll have two squares of plastic. There they are, to save time, I've cut them out like that. With a bit of sticky tape, join them together, rather like the covers of a book. They'll look like that. And if you then fold them over and make a sort of sandwich, a fish scale sandwich, you can stick on that side to make an envelope. That's what it'll look like and then you slide your fish scales into the middle. And here they go. One there, and one beside it. A fiddly business, but don't crumple the fish scale by rushing it. There they go. And don't get them mixed up. You can make a mark on the one of the lateral line, so you remember which one it is, and then complete the job by sticking on that side and that. And there's your completed envelope of plastic with fish scales in between. Well, I've already done that, and I've got it set up on the projector. And if you project it and focus it, this is what you see. There's the ordinary scale. And there's a wealth of detail which you can see microscopically. First of all, it's got radiating uh, little lines on it. But you'll notice, if you look carefully, it's rather like a tree trunk. It's got growth rings. And from that, you can tell the age of the fish. Well, that's the ordinary scale. Here's the one from the lateral line. And there's the secret. It's got a canal built all the way through. So vibrations of water can actually transmit through the canal and into the lateral line itself. Well, you may not be interested in fish scales. Fair enough. But that's a very handy little technique, that plastic sandwich, for looking at anything microscopic which either casts a shadow or lets light through. I want to know. Curiosity.